we've got our second winner of our giveaway. Stay until the end of the video to find out if you've won. For now, welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today, we'll look at amazing modern poultry, how the modern chicken is raised. Stay until the end to see how eggs develop to fully grown chickens. Step one, building the barn and getting it ready for the chicks. We won't get into the whole debate of which came first, the chicken or the egg. We say the barn came first. For chickens that'll be sold for their meat, huge long barns or sheds are built just like this one. There are no small coops inside the building. These types of barns allow chickens to roam almost like free range chickens. Traditionally, chicken coops have only dirt floors, which is very unhygienic, especially when the barn is used for different flocks. But modern barns have cement floors. A cement floor is easier to clean and more hygienic since any disease that may affect a flock will not be absorbed into the cement. State-of-the-art machinery is strategically installed in the building. These machines control the amount of feed, water, ventilation, and even the climate inside the building. When the barn is ready, the area is sanitized and then filled with fresh litter like sawdust. The litter absorbs pee and poop. Ideally, if the barn has been used before, it's cleaned, sanitized, and even given a fresh layer of litter every time a new flock of chicks is housed there. With everything prepared, the barn is ready for its flock of chicks. Step two, from eggs to chicks. Thousands of eggs are kept in hatcheries all over the world. These eggs are kept in incubators for 18 days. Each of these incubators can store up to 69,000 eggs at a time. Some can store even more than that. These incubators tilt to maintain the right amount of temperature and humidity for each egg. The eggs are scanned so that ones that cannot be hatched can be removed. This grid shows the scanned eggs. Green dots are okay, while blue dots are bad eggs. The good eggs are then injected with vaccines to make sure that the chicks that will hatch from them will be healthy. The eggs are then placed in trays that also contain water and food suitable for newly hatched chicks. The trays are placed in the final incubators until the eggs hatch after a few days, and then the chicks are born. It takes a lot of effort to break through a tough shell, so the chicks are born tired, hungry, and thirsty. When they've rested, the chicks and their trays are placed on a conveyor belt for inspection. It's a sad fact of life that some chicks are born with deformities or illnesses and have to be culled from the flock. The trays containing dry, fluffy, and healthy chicks are packed in a special truck ready to be shipped to the barn. Are you enjoying this video? Then please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the notification button for regular updates of our exciting animal videos. Step three, from the hatchery to the barn. Ideally, the chicks are transported to the barn within 12 hours after hatching. Like the barn it's headed towards, the truck carrying the newly hatched is heated so that the chicks remain comfortable. Once the truck arrives at the barn, the transporters do their best not to stress out the chicks. They use forklifts so that the chicks are not exposed to cold air or too much light. This also makes it easier to transport the trays across the long barn. Chicks are sensitive to the light, so they are transported during early mornings. Farmers also keep the inside of the barn dark to minimize stress and movement among the chicks. The chicks are dumped from the trays to the raising areas. This task looks violent for the chicks, but they're birds with light bodies they can pick themselves up right away. Some of them just shake themselves up and feed. The farmers work fast and efficiently too. They can place as many as 80,000 chicks in just under an hour. Step four, taking care of the chicks. As we stated earlier, modern state-of-the-art barns contain machines that make sure the chicks live comfortably while they're growing. Machines like these control the temperature, humidity, and ventilation of the entire space. Other machines control the lighting mechanism, Chicks that are exposed to a lot of light grow up quicker, but this is actually quite stressful for the chicks. More ethical farms set a regular pattern of light and dark for their chicks. High quality feed for chicks include soybeans for protein, corn, fibers, and fortified with vitamins and minerals for maximum growth. Some farms have their own mills. Raw ingredients are stored in gigantic tanks and freshly milled each day. The feed is delivered from the mill to the coops via conveyor belts. The chickens are given a measured amount of feed each day. The water system usually contains heated water for farms that are in cold climates. Step five, from chicks to chickens. Typically, chickens are considered mature when they are 16 to 24 weeks old. 
even free-range chickens are kept in the barns until they're three weeks old, because they need to develop adult feathers to keep themselves warm and to prevent sunburn, unless they're the featherless breed we talked about before. The feeding trays of chickens are sometimes changed to make them higher and easier for the now taller animals to eat. Chickens that are raised for their meat are harvested depending on their weight. Hens that are kept for laying eggs are put into barns with specially designed coops that catch the eggs, which are automatically dropped onto a conveyor belt. A hen can lay an average of one egg per day. To make sure that the eggs are of premium quality, the feed of these hens are fortified with calcium. They are also exposed to 15 hours of light to stimulate egg laying. As we featured in our video on farm technology, some chicken farms use machines like the poultry bot of the Netherlands that roves through the coop and picks up eggs so each batch remains fresh and of high quality. Other farms in France use the spoutnik that give the chickens some exercise by weaving through the flock, so farmers don't have to regularly walk through the coops. These machines help farmers grow thousands of chickens and sell thousands of eggs to consumers like you and me. There you have it our feature on amazing modern poultry, how the modern chicken is raised. Did we miss anything? Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, you might wanna check out our video of the top seven innovative technologies for modern animal farms. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, our winner of a $50 Amazon gift card or a $100 donation to a favorite pet charity is Daisy Majum Dog. Just a note though, if you're not in the US right now, we can only give you the donation. Expect a DM from us soon, or if you can't wait, DM us here on YouTube. Congratulations.